two, two minutes and nine seconds. It's taking me 15, oh my goodness. Morning everyone, it's Dennis here and today I'll be unboxing my new laptop. Yay! A by Saber 15. So I'm struggling with a lot of things with my computer. My computer here is five and a half years old and I think, you know what, it's, it's about time that I update my computer. So I've decided to pick a laptop and uh, bought the Gigabyte Saber 15 now. I probably looked for like really good deals over the last couple of weeks leading up to Christmas and you know just checking through websites, comparing prices, comparing specs and everything but and then it came to a point where it's like I can't even make a decision whether do I get the XPS 15 which I know is a really good laptop but it's way above my budget or do I get the Acer Predator which is again it's a gaming laptop yeah so after that with the Gigabyte I checked out the reviews I've checked out you know Dave 2D and a couple of guys from YouTube and they said it's all right it's a budget laptop you know it has a 1050 Ti graphics card 4 gig just good enough for video editing important for me is the processor it's an i7 7700HQ quad core 2.8 gigahertz so I think that's very very good uh, for video editing and it's a 15 inch laptop it has a 256 SSD and one terabyte which is enough for me to put in uh, videos um, you know my drone videos and everything and chuck it in there and it's portable uh, it's sort of light it's about 2.8 kilograms the only difference this one with the Dell XPS 15 is the 4k panels the tin basil is very light uh, the SSD I think I believe is a lot faster with the uh, Dell and um, yeah so I mean there's a few other laptops in there uh, I can put the, I can list it down below some of the some of the laptop specs that I've looked at and have tested out in some of the camera computer shops. You never know that might help you uh, choose your video editing laptop. Who knows? Let's uh, open it up, shall we? Manuals. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, nice. Has RGB keyboard lighting, HDMI, USB, audio jacks. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, that's the laptop. I'm just gonna put a connector and charge it up, and then I'm gonna start installing some of the programs that I need. And hopefully, in an instant, you'll see some of the video rendering times of the footage, and hopefully, that'll give you an idea of how this laptop works. So yeah, I'm really excited. Like I said, I've struggled to edit with my current computer, especially once I started putting color grading, color correcting, and everything. And I'll see you in a bit. Finally installed Adobe Premiere Pro into my new laptop, and I just want to show you in comparison of the issues I've been having on my com current computer versus the Gigabyte laptop that I have now. And I have to say, I can really see the difference. The laptop is a lot faster. It can color grade. It can do 4K videos. The struggle is very real at the moment with my current computer. Been very patient, you know, video editing using this computer, but I came to a point, you know what? I really need a new editing machine and I need something portable and light. Well, I'm say light. I need something portable. I really don't have much money to spend, so I can't really buy those high-end ones. So my initial thoughts on buying the Gigabyte, I'm pretty happy. So I'm gonna show you, you know, the Christmas video that I've done. I'm using a Samsung S8. It's 4K file and without any sort of color grading or anything or you know without any color correction it plays smoothly but once i start putting in the color correction color grading whatever it just won't render in real time or won't play in real time so hang on i'll, sh I'll show it to you okay so this is the 4k file the christmas so i'm just gonna press play so it's playing smoothly so far right without any color grading and col color correction it's working fine okay so i apologize for the screen if it's Bit blurry but yeah okay now you can see it's slowing down already I pause it for a while okay now well, let's just say I'll, I'll drag blue coal there see it's choppy it's choppy it's struggling let's say if I want to change the saturation to high vibrance to high sharpen to high if I change all the sharpen high see it's stuck um, yep, yeah, it's skipping 
really struggling in there with with my computer there and it's just shocking it skips it doesn't and that's just that's a 4k file right even for a 1080 even a 1080p file um actually let, let's try that again hang on i've added some adjustment layer there so this is a 1080p file sorry apologies again i'm trying to show it to you okay so you can still see it you can still find now if i hit this and now let's say i'll add a blue moon i'll change the sharpen to 1000 there you go Good. Again, this is a 1080p file that's struggling. Let me just show you how the Gigabyte works now. Uh, as you can see here, I dropped in a 4K file. I've got a Mavic Drone video here. And then I've got the three Samsung S8 files over here as well. The Christmas, you know, three of the Christmas files. And if I press go, play. Sorry, my mouse, it's full and it's fit. It's, it's fine. Yellow bars here, so it's not too bad. Now, if I change the look, say, to blue cold, bam, it's still playing. If I change the sharpen, vibrance, saturation to high, so you see here, bump them up, and it's still playing. So it's still on yellow, which is not too bad. Okay, this one, again, there's nothing here. Change the gold rush HDR, still playing. Bump up the saturation, vibrance. Let's say we play around with the curves, yeah. It's fine. Let me just try it again. See? Playing with the curve. It's still playing. You can do it. So in my PC, it'll struggle with that one. Now if I'm gonna try and export this, see? Saying six six minutes just to export a three and a half file, you know, with color grading, color correction, and those lots. Just so happy that I got a laptop now that I can use. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. This is Dennis, I'll see you all next time. Bye. If you have any questions, do comment down below.